Hey friends, Scott Smith with the Smithy McKellen Williams. Wanted to share with you uh, some answers to a question that we get quite often, almost on a weekly basis, when we are consulting with our buyers and sellers. And that question is, do I have to pay uh, any taxes on the profit when I sell my home? And it's a great question and it's a real common uh, misunderstanding. A lot of people just don't know about it. So uh, in 1997, the, uh, the Congress enacted a law that actually changed from the one-time exclusion for capital gains where you had to roll it into another property. And they change it with uh, a couple of parameters where you can actually exclude up to $250,000 for single people and $500,000 uh, for married couples when you're selling your primary residence. So a couple of things that, uh, that pass the test, and this is all listed in uh, IRS Publication 523, uh, so go Google uh, IRS pub publication 523 and get more details. Uh, but basically what it means is that if you've owner occupied your property for two of the last five years, uh, so owner occupied test means where do you do your banking? Where is your mail sent? Where are you registered uh, for voting? Uh, where are your uh, doctor's appointments and hospitals and that kind of stuff? So uh, for people that are kind of looking, maybe splitting time between uh, Let's say it's Minnesota and Florida, Arizona, uh, part-time. How can you exclude that capital gains? They will look at that primary residence as a test. So two of the last five years is really important. And up to $250,000 in gain for a single person and $500,000 in gain for a married couple. So it's a huge, huge tax advantage uh, for people. We thought it'd be good timing with uh, tax week and also the spring real estate market just to touch on that. So it's a great opportunity for people to uh, to sell their home if they've got a large uh, tax or large profit rather from uh, from the sale of their home to uh, exclude that gain. And actually you can sell it and not have to pay any taxes on it. You can go buy another property with minimum down. Um, the biggest thing with that is what is your basis? And the basis is from what you bought the property for uh, to what you're selling it for. So for easy math, let's say you bought the property for $100,000 20 years ago, it's appreciated, you've made some improvements, and it's now worth $200,000 uh, so many years later. You would pay uh, it, <coughs> the capital gains uh, potentially on that $100,000 in gain. So um, there's a could be a significant tax bill, but you can actually use that exclusion uh, for the two of the last five years, as long as it's been your primary residence. So some great insight there uh, for, for people. Uh, you don't have to pay the taxes, uh, potentially. Uh, consult with your tax advisor or your attorney. Uh, I'm, I know enough to be dangerous, uh, but the, that is the way that the rules are written. Uh, so we want to make sure that you're getting some good information as you're making some informed decisions. Wishing you all the best. Have a great weekend. Uh, if there's anything you need from us, certainly reach out, 651-777-3434. Have a great day. Bye.